need the Messiah, then it follows logically. Number one, he would have to liberate the Holy Land for the Jews. Number two, he would have to bring them back to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own. Number three, he would have to restore a state of Israel in the Holy Land and get them to believe that this is the Holy Israel of David and of Solomon Of course it would not be, it would be an imposter. Then they would be convinced. And finally, he would have to cause that state of Israel to become the ruling state in the world. Only then would he be able to rule the world from Jerusalem. Then he can get up and say, I am the Messiah. And they would believe that he is indeed the Messiah. And then he could rub his hands and he can say, Mission accomplished. A Gidema 6 for a 9. The Prophet Muhammad <coughs> once suspected that a Jewish boy in Medina was the Antichrist. The boy's name was Ibn Sayyad. So he took his companion, Umar radiallahu ta'ala, with him to go and question the boy. The boy was very uh, disrespectful in his answers. And Umar radiallahu ta'ala, who was very angry, he said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, give me permission. I cut off his head. The Prophet said, No, Omar, no. If he is the Antichrist, you cannot kill him. And if he is not, then it would be sinful to kill him. May I repeat that? So it sinks in. If he is the Antichrist, you cannot kill him. And if he is not the Antichrist, it would be sinful to kill him. Implying that the possibility exists that he can be the Antichrist. Or the jam. But that possibility could only exist if the Antichrist has been released into the world. And so implicit in this event is a message which, be, which is being communicated to the world that the release of Dajjal, the release of the Antichrist into the world, took place in the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad <coughs> If he is released into the world, then where is he? We now come to another intriguing event. It is located in the Sunan of, in the Sahih of Imam Muslim. A companion of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, who was, he was Christian, he became Muslim. His name is Tamim Dari. He came to the Prophet 
عليه الصلاة والسلام and narrated an event which occurred. The Prophet listened and then he said to the people, sit down, I have something to say to you. Tamim Dari came to me and told me something about the Antichrist which confirms what I have been saying to you. And now we get the story from the blessed lips of the Messenger of Allah. What is the story? <coughs> Tamim al-Dari and some 30 or 40 of his companions went on board a ship. And then the storms came and blew the ship for a whole month before they arrived at an island. And when they got on shore, they got off the ship and they went on shore, they were confronted by a very hairy creature. Plenty hair. So much hair, you could hardly tell which side is head and which side is tail. <coughs> And then this creature spoke and said, I am Jassasa, Jassasa, spy. Surat al-Hujurat, wala tajassasu, do not spy. So this is an island with a lot of people who excel in spying. And then Jasasa pointed to a monastery. There's someone waiting to see you there. So they rushed to the monastery. <coughs> and there they found this young man, powerfully built, with curly hair. But there's no description about his eyes. His hands were chained to his neck. His feet were chained. And this man began to question Tamim Udari and his companions. A number of very interesting questions. Could someone please send a copy of Jerusalem in the Quran for me? <coughs> a number of very interesting questions. But I don't have time to tell you all of them. And then he said, I, I am Dajjal. I am the Antichrist. And when I am released, so up to this moment he's not as yet released. And when I am released, thank you. <coughs> I will enter every town and every city, including Tunapuna. But I will not be allowed to enter into Mecca and Medina because the angels will bar me. And so now we know, up to this moment in time, the Antichrist is not as yet released. But he is on an island, which is about one month's journey away from the Arab world, by sea. An island which has excellence in spying. And so now we know that when the message came from the Messenger of Allah, that the Dajjal has been released. We know that it is in this island that he is going to be released. And it is from this island that he will launch his mission to impersonate the Messiah. 
and to eventually rule 